Hi everybody! For those of you that wanted to see the makeup look I put on my Instagram a few days ago, this is the video for you. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I already did my skincare, like uh, serum, eye cream, all that stuff. If you wanna know what type of skincare I use, um, leave me a comment in this video and I can share that with you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm gonna pin my hair back <clears throat> so it's not in the way. Uh, excuse this red thing that's on my head right now. It literally just popped up like five minutes ago. I think something bit me. So it's it's really itchy and it doesn't feel like is it. So anyway, we're putting on makeup so it doesn't matter. So I've already prepped my eyes and I use this Fenty Beauty um, concealer in the shade 290. And I really like using concealer to um, prep my eyes for eyeshadow. I feel like at least on my eyes, because um, it can get rather oily, it just kind of helps set them a little bit longer. It helps the eyeshadow last a little bit longer. And it kind of cancels out any like redness or discoloration you may have on your eyes. So I've already used that. So we're gonna go ahead and put that away. And now what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna go in with my foundation. So I really like this one by L'Oreal. It's L'Oreal Infallible Matte. And I'm in the shade 106 Sun Beige. Now, it will look a little bit light on camera, but I promise you, it is the correct shade for my skin. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop that on. And I don't, I don't um, need a whole lot. I just like to conceal the areas where I kind of have redness, which is around my nose, cheeky area. And a little bit on my chin. A little bit, especially right there with my little friend that I need to cover up now. Okay. So now we've kind of got that spread around. I'm gonna go ahead and go in my beauty blender. It is damp. Um, you can damp it with water, or I use like a facial spray, like this one from Mario Badescu is really good. Especially if you have dry skin, um, it works really, really well. So I'm just gonna re-spritz it here and then just kind of go out with that. So you just wanna kind of blend it all over the skin. Don't forget your neck. I am guilty of that at times where I forget to blend it down my neck. You definitely want that seamless transition. Okay. In this makeup look that I'm showing you guys today, feel free to, you know, use it by any means. If you don't have the colors or the products I'm using today, um, you know, certainly replicate it with whatever you have on hand that's similar. So I'm not saying you have to go and buy all these things. I just happen to really love makeup and I have a lot of it. And so I just like to play around with it and kind of be creative in that way. But again, you don't have to go buy a whole set of stuff if you don't have what I'm using today. If you have similar shades, um, feel free to use. Again, if you wanna follow along. If you're just watching just because you love me and you want to support me. That's awesome too. Okay. All right. So I feel like that's pretty well blended in. I'm actually looking at my mirror right now. So if I'm not looking at you guys, that's what I'm doing right now. So I feel like that's pretty well blended in. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to use, I'm going to go use another concealer. And this one's from e.l.f. And it's the Hydrating Cameo Concealer in the Satin Finish. And I'm in the shade medium sand. And what I'm actually, pause that. Before I use that, I'm gonna use this corrector by Becca and it's their under eye um, corrector. So I naturally have kind of dark eyes. As you guys can probably see, there's a little bit of a shadow under my eyes. This corrector is freaking amazing. It will cancel out any darkness that I have and it doesn't take much guys it really doesn't um, I highly recommend this if you struggle with dark circles like I do mine are hereditary it doesn't matter how much sleep I get how rested I am mine are just in my jeans so I just kind of dap that out just a little bit and I don't know if you can tell the difference but I can definitely tell like it's not as um dark under there. So once I've done that, then I go in with this concealer. And again, it's from e.l.f. And I just spray that sucker on. And then also what I do is I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to put this down the bridge of my nose, here, and then here. 
Don't use a whole lot, just enough to make a difference. And then blend that out. And this is a really great concealer. It is very creamy. It just blends in really well. And it's affordable. It's like six bucks. You can't beat that. Okay. And then going in with the concealer here. And as you can see, it's really brightening up my eye area. So it's a really, really nice concealer for the price. You can't beat it. I do like my high-end stuff, don't don't get me wrong. I like going to the local Sephora and spending money, but if I can find a really good product that's affordable and it works just as good as a high-end product, absolutely I'm gonna go for it. There's no there's no need in wasting money if you can find a product that works really well that's affordable. Sometimes you do have to branch out and buy things that are a little more expensive because they work better, but Brands like e.l.f., L'Oreal, um, some other stuff you're going to see today is drugstore affordable and it works fantastic. Love it. Okay, so we're done concealing everything at this point. So now I'm going to go in with powder. And this is my tried and true L'Oreal True Match. I'm in the shade W6, I believe. Yes, W6. I'm just going to take this little powder brush here and I'm just going to set everything. Now you don't have to do this step necessarily if you want more of like a glowy, dewy type of vibe. But I just know that I do get shiny in some areas. And if I don't set it, my skin is gonna look like a disco ball later. And it's just not gonna look as fresh and as is put together. But you do you. If you find that powder really kind of makes you look cakey and it doesn't work well for your skin, then, you know, don't set. You do, it works good for your skin. I just know this is a good technique for me and it just works really well on the type of skin that I have. Okay, so we've powdered, so I'm gonna put that away. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna now work on the eyes. So I am gonna be using Makeup Geek eyeshadows. If you haven't heard of Makeup Geek, you should totally check them out. They're in Target, I believe, and they also have an online store. And their eyeshadows are phenomenal. Again, if you don't have them, it's totally fine. I just really like them. Um, and yeah, so anyway, this is kind of what we're gonna be working with today. So we're gonna be working with these colors. So this color is kind of like a burgundy-ish color. This is called Cherry Cola. Then we're gonna work with this color here and it's called Grandstand. And then we're gonna work with this color here. Um, what's it called? This is Aphrodite. Okay, so those are the three colors. Honestly, I'm just going to put on my eyes, and that's what I had on my eyes the other day. Later on, we're going to be uh, using this blush, and that is the color Heartthrop. So it's a really great brand. If you really are into makeup and want to branch out, um, they just rebranded themselves, so they have a lot of cool products, um, and they're having a really great sale right now. I bought these a few weeks ago. Um, and like I said, I, I really enjoy them. Um, not sponsored to <laughs> talk about their stuff. I genuinely love their stuff. So before we though get into the eyes, I do want to set my eyebrows. And this is ColourPop, their little clear brow gel thing. It's called their Brow Boss. And I'm just going to set my eyebrows. Now I will say my eyebrows are looking rather unruly at the moment. I have not gotten them waxed and for some time and now that our country is experiencing um this virus um you know social distancing i can't get my eyebrows done right because it's certainly not six feet away so um i'm managing in the meantime but i cannot wait until this is over so i can kind of resume life but i'm blessed and highly favored in the meantime okay so what i'm gonna do um to kind of get my eyes going here is i'm gonna use some of this like I don't even know what you would call it, but it's like these little tape strips I got from e.l.f. <clears throat> and what I do is I just kind of like line my eye. And this is like serves as a guide for me. <clears throat> so I don't kind of go outside and like onto my cheek. It just kind of like, it's like my little sign. And I kind of line it up with like the tail of my brow. Okay, so now that we've got that set, I'm gonna go in and start using some eyeshadows here. So the first color I'm gonna use is that color we talked about, which is here, which is Cherry Cola. 
and just kind of go in with that. And again, if you have a color that's similar, like a burgundy-ish brown, go for it. Again, if you're following along. If not, enjoy. So this is just going to serve as my crease color. I'm just kind of blowing that out, just using really wide circulars. Just I don't want any harsh lines. So the idea with your crease color is you kind of want it to um, blend in all in the crease. And it just kind of serves as like a transition color. If you hear someone say like putting it in the crease transition, it's kind of the same idea. Now again, this is what works for my eyes. Sorry guys, you probably can't see me working on my other eye because I'm covering it. I'm doing the same thing on the other eye if you can't see that. It's a little hard with these angles. <laughs> um, this was what works best for me. Everyone has a different eye shape, obviously. My eye is slightly hooded. So I kind of do this technique to help my eyes look more awake. If you already have bigger eyes, then you probably don't have to go as high as I do in the crease. Um, so this is just what works for my eyes. If you're following along and you're like, this looks absolutely crazy on me, then obviously perfect the technique that works best for your eye. But again, with my eye shape, it just works better for me to use my crease a little bit higher, if that makes sense. I have more, I have more space up here than actually on my lid. Um, but some people have a lot of lid space and not a lot of crease space. So just, it depends on what works for, for you, right? Um, so I'm going to go into that Aphrodite color here and we're going to use that on the outer part of the eye. So I'm going to use it just right here and I'm just solely working that in the crease just to kind of help deepen it up a little bit. So you'll see here how it kind of just adds a little bit of depth. I'm not going to use a whole lot today. I want this to be a little bit daytime appropriate. If you were going out, um, like on a date or just out on the town with some friends, I think this would be a great look. You could just really play it up and add more um, depth and darkness on the outer part a little bit more. But because I'm just going to be hanging out at home today, and this is for you guys because you wanted to see it, um, I'm just going to keep it pretty light. Okay, so now what I'm gonna use, I need to find my eyeshadow thing here. So I'm gonna use this color, like I talked about, Grandstand. And I'm just gonna pop that on my lid. Just really get the color nice and saturated. So now, and I absolutely love that color. It's fantastic. Okay. Awesome. All right, I'm just gonna pop a little bit more on. Just for the fun of it. Okay, so that's pretty much the eyes. I'm gonna do just a couple more steps. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna line the eye. And I'm gonna use this Urban Decay 24-7 color in Alkaline. Um, this is a really beautiful color. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable, the NYX, um, eyeliners are really good and they're like only seven or $8. I think they're under 10. This is like 22, $23. So again, if it's not feasible for you, then they have a huge range of colors and they're very comparable. So I'm just going to line my eye here and I'm just going to look up into the mirror while I'm doing this. You really get a good view of my eyeballs here. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put that in the water line and then I'm actually gonna line the top part of my eye. So I'm just gonna gently tug on my eye. And I know it's not good for those of you that are beauty fans like me. I know it's not good to necessarily tug on your eye, but for me, it just kind of helps me line the eye. And I'm like barely tugging, you guys. So don't worry. Everything's under control. All right, I'm just gonna line here. And you don't even have to be really perfect with the lining because we're putting on false eyelashes and it can kind of help cover that line there. So I'm using more of a burgundy color. You can certainly use black or brown or whatever. 
um, eye pencil color you want to use, but I just really found that it works really well with these colors. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line and I'm going to blend the Aphrodite and the Cherry Cola together. And I'm just going to put that on the bottom part here. See how it really just kind of smokes it out. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Okay, so our eyes are pretty much done. So we can put that away. So now I'm gonna take the tape off. And it did take away some of my makeup, so I do have a hack for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just blend in those lines. I'm not gonna reapply product. What I'm kind of doing is just kind of redistributing the product around. So even though I powdered, there is some times where the product will kind of move. And since we haven't put on like blush and highlighter yet, I'm not moving that around. So, okay. So now let's, um, let's prep our eyes for the eyelashes. So I'm just going to curl. I have to like curl y'all. I just can't, just can't get around it. Okay. So we've done that. Now I'm going to use this mascara from the Maybelline New York. And this is the Falsies Eye Lift. And this is a really good mascara. I have shorter eye eyelashes. I do not have those long, luscious eyelashes that some people are blessed with. Um, I have to do mine. Um, <laughs> buying products to make them look beautiful and long. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. And again, I'm just... Popping on some mascara. I'm not really focusing on like a lot of layers. I'm just kind of putting on a light coat of it because we are going to be using false eyelashes. So I'm going to use just a little bit of this, the falsies kind too. Okay. All right. So time for eyelashes. All right. So I'm using the ones by the House of Lashes. That's a really good brand. Um, Makeup Geek also has eyelashes that are really good. Um, you don't even have to do this step. If you're not an eyelash person like me, you're kind of uncomfortable with it, certainly skip this step. Again, if you're following along, just throw on some mascara and then you can pick up where we're going. But if you're brave, you're used to wearing eyelashes. Um, what I'm gonna be using today are these ones. They're pretty full. And these are the House of Lashes ones. What, what are they called? These are called the Femme Fatale, darling. So again, use whatever eyelash you want to wear with this look. I feel like this look is pretty versatile. Um, and so you don't necessarily have to go with a really bold lash like this. You can do something really small um, or skip it altogether. But I do find that when you wear false eyelashes, it kind of just like pumps the look up a little bit more. Um, and it really just kind of makes your eyes pop, especially if that's the goal of the look, which for most of the time for me, I want my eyes to pop and to stand out. Um, so that's why I wear false eyelashes. So we're gonna go ahead and just peel them off here. All right, just kind of wiggle the band. All right, and then the key is you wanna have a really good eyelash glue and this is the House of Lashes glue. Again, not saying you have to buy these exact same products as me. Um, if you find a eyelash glue that you like, that works for you, go for it. <laughs> I've just tried different brands um, over the years of exploring eyelashes, and this is a really good one. Um, it's pretty affordable. I think it's like $12, $13, and it's a really good one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put our glue on. We're just going to put it on the band. And for me, I really focus on the outer edges of it because I have a tendency for my lashes not to stick on the outer part. So I really focus on putting some extra out there. Okie dokie. All right, so that's that. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna wait for our glue to get tacky. And that takes about 20 to 30 seconds. You can blow on it, it's up to you, um, but you definitely want the glue to be nice and sticky when it's ready to go onto your eye. 
So if you're pretty new to wearing false eyelashes while we're waiting for the glue to, to dry, I'll kind of give you a tip. So you want the smaller part of the false lash to go in the inner corner of your eye. And then as it fans out, you want more of that. This is just the type of style, but typically if you're wearing a, like a fuller um, eyelash where it doesn't really like fan like that, it's just like full on lash, then it still will kind of have like a taper at the top and then, or at the front of it, and then it'll go bigger at the outer part of it. So that's kind of how you know that that's kind of, it's going to follow the natural progression of your eye. Um, you'll see what I mean in just a second here. So I think our glue is ready. So I'm going to look in the mirror here and put this on. And pardon me if this is a little awkward to watch, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Okay. So now I'm just gonna tack it on the um, one end there. This is the part where you just kind of play around with it a little bit. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm actually on my lash line here. There we go. Pardon my dog. <laughs> that is Cash. There's probably like a fire siren, fire siren or something of that nature. Okay. So there we go. One lash is on. So now you can see the difference in my eye. Full lash, glam mama, right? The other eye, okay? So now we're gonna do the other eye. So I'm gonna peel that off. Now I'm gonna put some glue on this guy. And I will say with eyelashes, if you're kind of new to putting on falsies, practice certainly makes perfect. I struggled a whole heck of a lot when I first was using false eyelashes. It was, it was a struggle. Um, so don't feel bad. If this is your first time doing this. You will get better. Trust me. It will get easier the more times you do it. It just takes practice. And I would say practice on a smaller eyelash. Um, oh, I thought I had them in here, but... There's some eyelashes that you can find at like your local CVS or Walmart or Target where they're just, it's a thinner band and it's a smaller lash. And that's a really good lash for you to start practicing on if you are not comfortable using false eyelashes. Um, and then you can kind of work your way up to something like this where it's a thicker band. You kind of have to maneuver it and play around with it with a little bit. But the key with eyelash um, eyelashes, false eyelashes, you want to get them to... You want to get them as close to your natural natural eyelash line as possible, right? So it looks like it's just part of your um, eye line. Your eyelashes is just an extension of your eyelashes. Um, what you don't want is like them up like in your crease or like, you know, where you can see the clear distinction of where your lashes end and the falsies begin. And I know sometimes that's a little bit difficult. Um, if you want to help hide that, you can wear like a darker eyeliner. So like some people put on like a really thick black like wing liner or just a really thick black eyeline, eyelash band there, eyeliner band, excuse me, to kind of help hide that. So you just kind of see black and you don't see the clear transition between um, your lashes ending and the falsies beginning, but you want to get it as close as you can. Um, and again, I sometimes even struggle with that just depending on the lash and the day. Um, but that's the goal with wearing these is to make them kind of look natural as possible. I know like certainly this isn't natural, but to where it looks like, you know, it's just right on your lash and it's a part of your eyelashes. Anyway, I think our glue is dry on this. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this on the other eye. Okay. Nice. And like I said, some days it just works really seamless and it's just like, you don't have to struggle. And there's no struggling. Other days, it's really difficult to get your eyelashes to do what you need them to do. Like for instance, this one, it's not necessarily wearing. Oh, there we go. And sometimes it is just you like playing around with them and just kind of messing with them a little bit. Like this one. Let's stick up a little bit more. There we go. So it really is just kind of like playing around the lash. Okay, so the lashes are on. That's the toughest part, guys. The lashes are on. 
Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the lashes are still going to dry a little bit. Um, so while they're drying, if you do kind of feel them wiggling around a little bit, I mean, certainly just kind of touch whatever area is like bothering you that you feel like it's just not sitting right. Um, you know, the glue is still tacky, right? It's still kind of drying to your eyes. So feel free to move them around. But while mine are drying, because they're in the right spot, I'm going to go in with my blush. And this is the blush that we were talking about earlier. And this is, and it, just put on any light pink that you have. And I'm just going to put it on the high points here. Okay. And I like to put some on my nose too. And add some rosiness. And I do put a little bit on my chin. Okay, so that's that. And then the last face product we're going to use, <clears throat> sorry, last face product we're going to use is this highlighter palette by Tarte. And this is their Skin Twinkle Volume 2 Lightening Palette. I got this several years ago. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but it's a really beautiful palette. Um, and they have just like a range of colors in here. So I'm going to see if I can show you guys without completely blinding you in the mirror. Here we go. So it's really, really pretty, um, and it just kind of gives a nice subtle glow. So I'm using two different colors here. I'll show you in a minute which ones I'm using. I'm just going to pop that right on top. See how it like, just adds that sheen? Oh, I absolutely love highlighter. It's so beautiful. Absolutely love it. And then I just use the remainder on my nose. Just do a little bit there, a little bit here. And I'm not dipping back in. I'm just kind of using what's left. Guys, look at that glow. It's amazing. Okay, so the colors that I used was this one and this one. And they're called Daylight and Candlelight. I just mixed the two together. Okay. Let me wipe my hands here. We're almost done, I promise. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got that done. So we've got our eyes, our cheeks, our highlighter. Um, I am going to do one thing that I don't think I did in the original look, but we're going to punch it up a little bit. So we're going to go back in with that lighter color that I used here. I'm just going to put that in the inner corners of the eye and just really punch that up. Just really, especially if you feel like you are looking a little tired, you just really want the inner eye to pop. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. All right, so we've got everything. We've got our eyes, our lashes, our brows, skin, everything. Um, so the last thing is the lips. And I love this lipstick. I've had it for several years now, and it's from Urban Decay. And the color is called Back Talk. And it's like this muted purpley pink. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. Okay. And that's the lips. And oh my gosh, I just feel like it's such a nice skin, or not skin, lip color for my skin tone. Um, someone that's like on kind of the browner tone like me, it's hard to find like something that's like pretty but muted, but not like it's going to make you look dead um, or something that's like too light for your skin. So this is like, I feel like a good in between for me. I'm not aware of any drugstore dupes that have this color, but certainly if you don't have this color, and you like it, you can go buy the Urban Decay one. I think they still sell this. Um, or just try to find one that's comparable. I mean, most drugstores have dupes for everything these days. So that's the look. So we're going to go ahead and put my hair down here. Get that in a good spot. all right y'all that's the completed look i hope you liked it um let me know if you want to see more makeup tutorials um i'm certainly not doing this for any monetary reasons it's just fun for me to do makeup and so if i can share my passion with you guys and have some fun while we're kind of working through self-isolating self-distancing Right now, we can kind of connect in that way. Let me know. Um, certainly would love to do that um, moving forward. So you guys have a blessed day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.